don't think that's going anywhere. Oh, hey guys. Just got a new sign. Check that thing out. It's pretty cool, right? I actually have a Nintendo one, and I got a PlayStation one, and I got an Xbox sign, just like this one. Uh, there's actually a store local to me that was really cool. They saw, surprisingly, saw anyway, one of my videos, and they liked it. I've actually been uh, visiting them quite a bit now. Actually, I would help them occasionally with repairs and stuff, and uh, they had a couple signs, and they asked, there's in the back, these are older signs, these these would be used like when the original Xbox, and I guess the GameCube and the PlayStation 2, because the Xbox and the PlayStation 1 has like the blue text for the PlayStation and the green old school Xbox, and I asked if I could use the, all of them, and he said that's cool. So I have a Nintendo one, I have a PlayStation, and I have an Xbox sign, and I'll use them depending on which system I'm talking about. They light up, but the when I turn it on, it, it's going to be very hard. I'll show you. It's very difficult to see it because it's like a... So yeah, I mean, it works fine in store. Like, me looking at it now, it looks fine, but the camera does not like it. So I, I'm just going to leave it off because it looks fine like that. But, uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. So I'll, I'll be having these up here. You'll see them more now. And uh, But I wanted to... I wanted to get started today with, uh, I've been talking to you guys about doing giveaways and everything, and I did a few of them on Twitter, and I've had some people say that, you know, they don't do Twitter, they want to make sure they're actually being entered into it, and you are, so what I've decided to do from now on is I will announce contests on Twitter, just in case you're on Twitter and you see it and it pops up as like news, um, and what I'm going to do is, if you're subscribed to the channel, you are automatically entered in any giveaway I do. Okay, I'm gonna pull a list of whatever subscribers I have on that day that I do the drawing, and I'll just randomly generate and find somebody in this in this um, subscription list, and that way it's just a random draw. So you, you don't have to worry about it. If as long as you're subscribed, you're automatically entered. Now what I'll do is when we pick a winner, I will try to get in contact with you. Uh, I'll give about a day or so, and if I can't get a hold of you, I'm sorry. I'll have to move on to the next person that gets picked. I'll just do it again. And, uh, but yes, if you're a subscriber, you're automatically entered. So make sure you're subscribed if you see these videos and you want to win cool stuff. Because I actually have something really cool today that kind of fits with the theme of today's video about Breath of the Wild. And it's actually, uh, a clock. If you saw my video recently about Dragon Ball Z, you'll probably saw my Dragon Ball clock. I'll put that video here. It's right in the beginning. You don't have to, like, watch all the way through it if you're not a big Dragon Ball fan. But these clocks are really cool. They're actually cut out of vinyl records and they use like uh, like actual clock hands and everything it takes a double A in the back and you can hang it right on your wall. This one is actually a Zelda themed one, which is awesome. <laughs> has the different symbols from the dungeons and everything and Ocarina of Time. It has uh, second hand and everything that moves around. I don't have a double A in it, so it's, uh, it's not moving now. I didn't want to put a battery in it, but uh, it has a really cool cutout here of Link with the horse and everything. So, uh, if you are a subscriber, you're automatically entered to win this. I'll probably do the drawing on Friday, I assume. So, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do click the subscribe button. And uh, I actually have become pretty good friends with these people after I bought their original Dragon Ball clock, which looks like this one. This is the one in that video. And uh, we're, I was giving away a couple of these, too. Again, if you're subscribed, you're automatically entered to win this as well. It's kind of neat. It's got, like, the cutouts and everything, Dragon Ball Z. And that is from the Record Breakers. Uh, they actually, I'll put their, dis I'll put their, um, their link in the description below. They do all kinds of cool stuff like pop culture or bands or, or video game stuff, uh, movies. I know they did a couple for Doctor Strange and they did a couple for, uh, Captain America and all the different superheroes. So check them out. It's worth it. It's kind of cool. They're like a, like a small, like a small indie group that makes these. So it's not like a, they have like an Etsy page. It's not like a big company or anything, but they saw my videos, they liked them, I asked if I could give stuff away to you guys, and they said yes, so they're going to provide me with, I guess, a couple clocks and records going forward, so I will let you guys know, but I want to get into the news today, uh, Breath of the Wild, this is a big game that we thought would be needed for the launch of the Switch, and we were all pretty much under the assumption, it was never guaranteed, but we were pretty much under the assumption that it was coming out on launch day for the Switch to help move units, but Recently, uh, Emily Rogers, who is a very popular blogger, and she has a Twitter and everything that is followed heavily by a lot of people who are following Switch, because it has been proven several times, stuff she is reporting has been proven to be true, okay? And what she said, she's come out and said, hey, Zelda Breath of the Wild, localization is taking a lot longer than originally thought, okay? Localizing being they're, you know, they're, they're basically translating, 
uh, moving stuff around to make, for it to make sense for the US and everything, and it's becoming very difficult to get to that launch window of March because after they localize it, guys, they still have to enter a testing phase. Now, if it's a linear-based game, testing doesn't take nearly as long, but because this is a, I mean, this is a massive game, we're talking like, you know, probably larger than Grand Theft Auto style, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5 style, and uh, it's a big open world. It's gonna take a lot of testing because you have to go around, basically, and check for glitches and bugs all over the place. That's one of the reasons that Bethesda's games, even when they launch, still have bugs because it's so hard to test these big open world games like thoroughly and if they want to take extra time to test it to make sure there's not a lot of bugs I'm okay with that personally I know a lot of people might be a little off put by this but honestly guys if it's going to make the game better let them take some more time I mean it's not like it's going to take till like 2018 or anything we're estimating that if it ends localization at the end of the year it'll probably take about four to five months to finish testing and everything and then put the game out so we'd be looking, instead of like a March release, we'd be looking closer to like a May release, for example. And uh, that's not a huge deal because again, if, if, we need the, if the Switch is gonna sell, it cannot have periods of time where a lot of games aren't coming out, okay? That's what they ran into with the Wii U. There were months where nothing would come out and we'd just be waiting for this game over here to come out. So I would not worry about it because more than likely we're going to get a Mario game. Emily Rogers also reported that Mario for the Switch was further ahead than uh, Breath of the Wild in terms of development, localization, and testing. So I would expect Mario at this point to be a launch title, which makes a lot of sense. We've always had Mario at launch for the most part. You know, 64 had it. Um, GameCube had to wait a little longer, but 64 had it, uh, and it really helps push the system. I know the Wii had some, had some Mario games later on as well. I know when it came out, though, we did have Zelda, so you always have either Mario or Zelda. That's fine. And uh, I think it'll still sell. They really need to get third parties on board. I think if it launches with Mario, Skyrim, and then a couple others, including like a sports game like NBA, the Switch will move. People are going to buy it anyway because it's so different. And keep in mind, they're only shipping 2 million units. It's not like they're shipping just some crazy amount of units, you know, to, to move the Switch. 2 million are going to come out. I do see those selling through in the first two months, to be honest. I see those selling through and they're gonna to have to start replenishing stock quickly. There's a lot of hype around this system, and if Mario comes out with it, that should be enough to push it into homes. And when we get into summer, I do think Zelda's a good summer release because a lot of games don't come out in the summertime. And again, that'll give the Switch a nice little bump in a, in a time when a lot of games don't sell as well. There's not a ton of stuff that comes out in the summer. It's usually reserved for obviously September, October, November is when you really push the games out so that it's ready for Christmas in December. Like we just saw how many games just came out recently, you know, I mean, Dishonored 2 just came out, obviously, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Titanfall 2, all of these games are just, just one after the other coming out every week, so, if they need to, they get Mario out at launch, they get Zelda out in summer, and then they start pushing a couple other games, including third parties, when we get closer to the holidays, they can't make the mistake of only putting out two or three games at a time, okay, so, I think this is okay, people are freaking out, not a big deal, let Breath of Wild get tested, I'd rather have a really good Zelda game, than a buggy Zelda game, obviously. So, I'm okay with this. Uh, but that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe, guys, because, like I said, this stuff is being given away a lot. So, make sure you subscribe, because you're automatically entered in for this clock. A very cool clock. And, like I said, like the video if you liked it. Uh, and definitely, if you just want to hear about the Switch and news and stuff, subscribe, because I'm reporting this stuff as it comes out. So, you don't even really like to look at the news. If you just keep an eye on the channel, you'll see cool stuff and, and we'll kind of talk about it as we go. So, until next time, guys, I will see you then.